Brothers and sisters, uh, before we come to congregational prayer, there are uh, a couple of things that I wanted to highlight for you. Um, first of all, the bulletin talks about how uh, Lila is doing, and I have a little update on that. Uh, Lila is doing uh, quite a bit better. It's been like five days since she last had a fever, and so she is feeling better, and we pray very much that she will continue to feel better. Uh, doctors never really particularly had any definitive answer other than that she had uh, maybe a virus of some kind. And so we pray that she will continue uh, to just thrive and be doing uh, super well. <clears throat> also, um, as we are getting um, more opening up and opportunities, you'll notice in the bulletin that there are a variety of things that we are hoping to start up again on some level, including hopefully, Lord willing, Sunday school uh, soon. So if you can very much be in prayer for that, and if you can also um, check in the bulletin, there are um, probably some spots that we need to fill. If you have been involved in any of the ministries listed in the bulletin um, and are wanting to get back into it, it might be great to give uh, Cole a shout and let him know that you are uh, on board and wanting to help out. If you have questions about how it's going to work, same deal. You can talk to Cole about that as well. Um, and so just be aware of that. Also, uh, wanted to let you know um, that we, I don't think we are going to have a combined uh, Farmersville service on the 25th. It is listed in the bulletin under the offerings, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm not sure. We'll probably just have a normal worship service here. Um, also, in terms of offering, uh, I have somehow gotten a week ahead of myself. I'm not sure how I managed to do that, but I did. And so the last couple of weeks, I have announced the offering for the week in the future. So I guess maybe I was living in the future. So last week, I announced that this week's offering, or that that week's offering was for denominational ministry shares. But the truth is, is that this week's offering is for denominational ministry shares. And if that's confusing, don't sweat it too much. Just, uh, you know, make a note on your offering what cause you are contributing uh, to, and I will make my apologies to the deacons, and they'll work it out because they're very smart people. So uh, our offering this week is for denominational ministry shares, and so we pray that you would uh, consider that in your offering and prayerfully and cheerfully give uh, the offering plate will be, Lord willing, at the back for you after the service. Uh, if we have a deacon here who can make that happen, that would be great. Um, otherwise, let us come and pray. Father in heaven, thank you very much for drawing us together today. Thank you so much for uh, how many people are able to be here in person today. Uh, what a joy it is. Lord, we pray that you will guide us and keep us as we move forward into this world of uh, slowly reopening things, but also as we face the difficulties of that. Lord, we see that in various parts of the world, uh, there are still many COVID problems. And so we ask and pray that you will guide our government and health leaders and that you will give us continued wisdom, O oh God. Not that we are wise in our own rights, but Lord, that you have given us uh, all that we stand in need of. Dear Lord, we pray uh, very close to home here. We, we praise you that Lila is doing well. We pray that she will continue uh, her, uh, her wellness, uh, Lord, and that she will not have a recurrence of these fevers. We pray as well for Sue as she starts chemo on the 21st. We pray, O oh God, that that will somehow uh, make her actually feel better instead of worse. Uh, Lord, we pray too for all of those in our congregation who are battling cancer and other diseases. Lord, we lift before you John and Belinda and their family. 
Lord, we pray that uh, the upcoming baptism of Aiden will be a true joy and wonder for them and for all of us as well. We thank you, O oh God, for all you have done in our community, O oh God. We thank you for the sun and for the rain. And we thank you for the heat and for all that you have provided, O oh God. We are conscious, O oh God, that there are many in this world who are suffering because of environmental factors. O oh God, we think particularly of all of those under threat and whose homes have been destroyed in British Columbia. We think of those wildfires in, in British Columbia and in Ontario. Lord, we pray, we pray, O oh God, for safety and protection for the firefighters who are valiantly battling these blazes. We pray, O oh God, for mercy. We pray, O oh God, for your protection. Lord, we pray as well on a continued basis for the indigenous peoples of Canada and for, for all of us here as we seek to bring reconciliation, especially in the light of, of graves <coughs> of children at residential schools. Father, we pray. <coughs> we pray as well for the people of Barrie, Ontario, with the damage that they suffered with the tornadoes this past week. We pray for the people of the Netherlands who are experiencing flooding. Oh God, there is so much need in this world. <coughs> there is so much sorrow and hurt. May we, oh God, focus on you. May we weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn, but may we also have joy with those who rejoice. May we bring peace. May we bring healing. May we bring love in your name and through your power. Father, as we come to the message after this next song, we pray that you will open our hearts and minds, that you will Help us to hear what you would have us hear. May I speak words that are pleasing to you, O God. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.